When Orville Johnson, John Miller, and Grant Dermody were randomly grouped together at the Port Townsend Country and Blues Workshop, an unexpected musical bond was formed. These three musicians went on to record their own CD and then sought out a way to more intimately share this experience with others. The answer came in the form of an old-fashioned house party, and today they regularly perform for the many people who have come to enjoy the growing trend of going out for a concert while maintaining all the comforts of home. I'll go see you in the fall. I hope you won't have no man at all. Stay long, oh stay long, my baby, stay long. My name's Orville Johnson. I just love playing music, you know, it's just a, it's a means of communication. And so it's actually something for me, it's almost, uh, I feel more comfortable uh, when I'm playing music and communicating with people almost more than in my daily life. You got to go back to Mother Earth. I'm John Miller. Connecting with the audience, that's, that's a big thing. Plus I just love grooving. I just love playing time, rhythm. It's, it's great. It's like having your spine in the proper alignment. You know. It's good. My name's Grant Dermody. For me, it's all about the connection. Um, it's you know, con the connection with the musicians that I play with is f that's huge. That that's where it starts, and then we connect with the audience from there. People don't go to a house concert by mistake. I mean, they they go there through intention, and so. It's sort of like they're motivated listeners, you might say. And so that makes a huge difference. They're, they're, they're sort of specifically to hear what you're doing. And so that kind of focus and intensity that they arrive with translates into a good performing and listening situation, usually. If you look back in uh you know, the, the historical sense of blues, especially they would have rent parties and house parties. And of course, um, you know, I guess in the South more too, if you look back into the times of segregation, you know, there weren't clubs for uh, black people to go to, to uh, play their music and have dances and do things. So, you know, they would do it at their homes. And so I think the idea of you know, sort of ha having a house concert or a house party where people come to your house and music is played, food is cooked up and libations are offered. You know, it's very related to the blues, but in a modern sense, uh, what's happened with it is you find things like this all over the country now because there are certain types of music that, you know, the audience is maybe not big enough that you know, you're gonna fill up a 200 seat or 400 seat club, but yet there might be 75 people in a place that would love to see something that you do. Since it's a private house, you really can't have a cover charge and insist that anybody do anything when they come into your house. So we put out a donation and people contribute to that and that's how the musicians get paid. We also sell CDs and we put out refreshments for people and people are getting the idea that this is a really great place to come and listen to music and it doesn't, it may not really matter who's playing, just come check it out. I don't go to big concerts, hardly at all. I'd rather sit and listen to a good CD. But this is very different because it's, uh, it's just something about having them right you know, well, you're listening to the music and you feel part of it rather than all what's going on around you. This is casual and comfortable. You feel like you're a part of the, making the music. Every experience is different. Well, primarily the intimacy. Uh, you get a sense that they're, they're really enjoying what they're doing. Just total simple pleasure. But there's a lot of different house concerts that are going on in the city for different kinds of reasons. Dance performances, uh, poetry readings, uh, cabaret-like evenings. Just people are wanting, you know, this, this sort of closeness in, in the entertainment. I think you can get the whole range. You can get a high-end, beautiful symphony concert to fringe theater in a home. You're drawn in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not about. 
large crowds and screaming. It's about being pulled right into the music. Mm -hmm. I don't like playing in smoky bars. I play harmonica and I don't want to breathe other people's smoke through my harmonica for three hours. It's just not something that's healthy or that I want to do. So here you can control the environment a little bit more, you know, actually quite a bit more. <laughs> and uh, it can be a much more uh, pleasing musical experience for the audience and for you, the musician. If you have people visiting you from out of town and you suggest going to a house concert, for a certain percentage of them, it may be a brand new experience. It might be something they've just never heard of before or considered, but when they get to one and uh, see how those the circumstances sort of contribute to a really good listening experience, you can hear so well, you can see so well, you don't have to use a sound system. It is catching on more, I would say. You're there because you want to listen and we usually make that pretty clear at the beginning of the of the concert that this is a listening environment and that people that's why people are here so it's different from a club in that you know there's not pool tables and pinball machines and espresso machines and all that other all you know distractions it's just it's just us and the audience and the music and the communication that we can get together John and Orville are phenomenally strong players and they can hit all kinds of grooves and moods and emotions and we don't really, we just sort of follow each other. We just, you know, so one person gets an idea and we, and we go or somebody and then we trade back and forth. We listen to each other really well. There's this sort of understated power that is there that's really easy to overwhelm if you're not paying attention. But if you don't overwhelm it, and if you ride underneath it, then it's really great. It's a very cool thing. I'm going away to leave this old country. I'm going away to leave all alone. Ain't that a shame?